Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, glad to have you here. Um, today I got a good number of replays for you, I spent the morning on a quick battle. Um, I got a lot of decent battles, um, a lot of opponents with poorly planned armies. Um, but I also had a couple of close ones here, and a lot of Fortonia vs. Empire, I'll just show you a couple of those ones. is today. So, um, I started off in a 2v2 with Chaos. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry about that little spoiler, but uh, versus Dwarves in Britannia, that's just how it's going to be most of the time. Um, so I brought a... I didn't know if I was going to be fighting a Britannia spear line or um, just a lot of range units, so I didn't really know what to pick, and they readied up pretty quick, so I didn't really have that much time to pick my army, but I got three of these Aspiring Champions, two Chaos Marauders just for meat shields, two Chaos Warriors, four Chaos we with great weapons, three Manticores, Running. we'll pause, um, and what am I missing? Oh, and my Lord here on this Zombie Dragon, so I've got a decent Air Force, nothing compared to what Bertonia will bring, but... I figured I would give them give the new Manticores a try. I haven't really played Chaos very much since they got their boost. It's pretty terrifying. <laughs> um, we'll hop over here. We've got a pretty typical Empire Army line of spearmen and greatswords. That is strange setup there, but it works. And uh, two crossbowmen. Um, Demigriff with halberds and the Royal Altar of Griffites, which are just Demigriff Knights with halberds, um, and they have terror. And then they're kind of blue, um, but they look very cool. And up here we have the Amber Wizard on a griffin, and Carl Franz up here on Deathclaw. Let's hop over here. We have um, four mounted Yeoman archers, uh, which <laughs> are going to decimate my front line here. Um, we've got three Pegasus Knights. Uh, King Leon Leon Kerr on Becky. Um, two Mounted Yeomen. Two trebu three Trebuchets. Um, and that is it. Very much a support army for the main dwarf line. In the middle here we've got uh, these Warriors of Dragonfire Pass and three Miners. Um, I like this choice versus um, a chaos line because they will be so cost effective against um, any armored units I bring. Over here we got the Peak Gate Guard Hammers. They're one of the, I think, one of the best units in the game right now because of the armor sundering. And they just look badass. Um, but every time I go up against them or use them, they get like 100 kills or just damn near close. So um, he's also got um, a bolt thrower. And he's got this Grumbling Guard, which will keep all his troops here up on um, Vigor. So they will not get tired, and they will not decrease their uh, combat effectiveness. We got Thorgrim here to give the plus like 24 attack. And we got some Miners on the flanks just to make sure everything's okay. And then back here, also a great choice versus Chaos, are these three Rangers with great weapons, and one of them is Ulthar's Rangers. Um, and they have throwing axes that deal armor-piercing damage. So. Um, yeah, we'll just get started. I, seeing that mass of artillery, decided to just push. It's the only way we're going to get anything done. I'm just going to push um, and try to envelop the main chaos line. I was kind of hoping he would flank around and do most of the um, flanking and killing of the artillery while I kind of dealt with the main dwarf line. Um, just because I felt like my infantry would probably be better at that than his. Uh, he only has three great swords over here. Um, I was kind of hoping he would bring his air force closer, so we'd have a chance against these this mass right here. Uh, we'll see what happens. They just start moving up. I move my the chaos martyrs are faster than the heavier infantry, so they will always be ahead of the group unless you hard group it with G. Uh, oof. And poor Spire Champion took some damage there. Eh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh man. That's why I didn't bring any Chosen. Because, uh, they would just get turned. 
these guys are seed, they're just gonna get destroyed. But I have my um, inspiring champions here to make sure they stay in the fight, absorb as many arrows as humanly possible, while I charge the rest of the main line. Empire's a bit behind me, which is almost possible. And see, he's heading just straight at them. Um, and he has not moved his flying support to uh, me. Uh, but that's, you know, that's okay. And here, the Pegasus Knights come. I probably should have retreated, but I just decided to charge one of my Manticorps into each of these Pegasus Knights to follow up with my zombie dragon, the uh, Lord of Fire. I then buff everybody. I thought this guy would do a little bit more damage to these Pegasus Knights. But he doesn't even get him in one hit, which is rare. But maybe, and he got charged by the only occur, so that's not going to end well for me. Those blasting charges ripping us from I already kind of <laughs> decimated Chaos Rangers here. The blue green castle with the Chaos Christmas names. Brave not wearing it. See all the buffs going on, their education, everything. Um, I actually call my neighbor over. No, he helps me kind of clean up this fight, but not before I lose all my manticores and my lord, essentially. Um, they'll be coming in and out of the battle. I've just kind of sat these chaos warriors over here. I just turn them around. And they're just taking fire. Um, trying to keep them off my main line, my squishier, no shielded targets. Um, these demigriffs got into these uh, yeomen and decimated them, like you would think, and have moved on to these ones. Bad micro to let them get caught. Um, and here we go, my grumbling guard getting into combat with the Chaos Warriors. I'm not sure how that would go. Probably with the both buffs of Rinsmith and Thorgrim would go very poorly for my great. You can see he kind of just blobbed in behind my troops. And so we're not getting any flanking charges, and this Amber Wizard is just kind of sitting here. Um, but, you know what, maybe I should have swung around the side, maybe that's what he was looking for. Um, it was a lot to micro this kind of air force going on here, and um, wow, considering all this and stuff. I'm watching his demigriffs. We'll see these guys that run off. Oh my, these guys finally read it. I'm doing a poor job. Aren't going those guys, but. My Spiner Champions are the only thing keeping that in line. But here we have the Demigrips. Just sitting here, taking a withering barrage. Oh, that's sad. Poor Battle Chicken. Here we go, we kill the, uh, the enemy Lord finally, the only one for he doesn't really have much on the field anymore anyways, it's mostly dwarves. Um, a lot of these artillery are still going. And we're just unable to get through this body of troops. It's pretty much over. These rangers with great weapons stopped any kind of flanking maneuvers and were shooting in. Um, and then it's just kind of a cleanup operation. Well, we'll get a doom flock going off. All those um, yeomen just charged in, and yeah. it takes a while in a 2v2 to clean up all the enemies. <laughs> See, they still have so many in this unit, and they took so many charges, and were fighting the Air Force for the entire game. Not many models actually got killed, which was bad for us. He still got his healthy Air Force here, trying to kill Thorgrim. He's actually doing a pretty good job. Oh, but there goes the General of the Empire. No, not Carl Franz. <laughs> Anyways, that was the first one. Not a good start to the day, but um, we 
got the next returning person. So in this one, I The next one I had was Empire vs. Empire. And I wasn't sure what kind of army he was going to bring, but I was not expecting this right here. Um, that many handgunners, um, just a large amount of units. Um, Rex Guard Empire's Knights, I just wasn't seeing it. Two mortars, so I'll be taking the offensive because he'll be opening fire. And he has this really huge spread out line in this forest. Um, I can only see this halberd unit, the spearmen, the artillery, the general. I can't even see any of these guys. So I just decided to move forward. We'll go over my army real quick. I got two spearmen on each side, supported by supporting a demi griff knight with halberds. Um, I got a main line of three great swords and two swordsmen. Um, I got a spearman in the back. I got my two spearmen on this side, just like the other. Um, oh, I have a great cannon right here. Oh, wow, what a wonderful. He doesn't even look that upset. <laughs> that was a lucky shot with that mortar, man. Um, and then I've got a light wizard with just um, the net of Amitaki. has nothing else. Uh, and we have... Um, good old Boris Toddbringer here um, with a healing potion. Uh, yeah. I also have these silver bullets right here moving up in my in between my swordsmen and uh, two crossbowmen. Where's my second one? Oh, I just have one. I have one crossbowman and one silver bullets. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I'm just moving forward. He has double the amount of artillery. What am I shooting at here? Spearman. <laughs> Might not be the best shot, but. Oh well. Here we go, I'm opening fire. He has this hill position, so a lot of my bullets will not, and crossbow bolts will not be doing anything. And so I'm. He's got me in a confusing spot here, because I really do not know what he's planning. I'm assuming he has more stuff back here. And that the bulk of his army is on this hill. So I'm a little hesitant to run up there, but I will. Um, just with, I'll engage part of my army, mostly my right side. Um, I've also just moved this up, the spearman up to scout, and um, I'm keeping the halberds just ready. It's rare to see an empire without cavalry. Um, but he has it on this side, so. I think I end up taking some pot shots at the general. Oh, <laughs> it landed! Right at his feet. Yeah. Smart, high beach. Watch that so too. I always like the mortars. They're a little too inaccurate. Guaranteed damage of the uh, cannon. Here we go. My lucky he's shooting at my swordsmen. They have shields and not my great swords. Um, I just kind of have these spearmen on the side. Um, and I, I have a hard time seeing in these areas. Um, and so my micro is horrible. Just utterly horrible. Here we go. He starts charging my demigriffs. Um, and I'm willing to take this fight. I have all these spearmen to support. And as this is happening, guess what I see? All these troops coming out here. So I start to move this guy this way and just sacrifice almost these two units for the middle. Um, I forgot poor Stroudberg. And I also forgot to put him on a horse. So he's going to be annoying to use this entire game. But, um, there he is. Uh, the, the, the fight's going okay. It's going fine. Um, I got trapped over here with the net of him talking. He's shooting the stuff out of my battle chains. Here. Um, this side is just not looking good. I'm hoping to just get rid of his uh, cavalry. Um, but no matter how much I do damage to him, or how many I, units I kill, always a couple stragglers keep coming back. This is one of the closest games I've seen in a long time. Um, I net of Amintuck this guy, these pistoliers, so my crossbowmen can kind of do some work. Um, I really can't get good lines of sight here with my silver bullets. Um, I just have these spearmen here for reserve. 
I end up turning my silver bolts to shoot these spearmen. He's targeted his artillery here. Oh man! Oh, that's brutal! He <laughs> must have done it! Wow! I must have increased the accuracy of those things, maybe. But uh, here we. This is kind of getting wrapped up. He has his general over here. It's just not a good fight for me. Um, but I managed to take out these Reichsguard. And I'm going to be trying to go towards this um, mortar with my battle chairs. Um, I have Boris just up in the middle fighting these halberds, supporting those swordsmen who are losing. And I'm chasing off uh, these spearmen with some great swords. And I still have a spearman on the side in reserve. I just can't see anything, so I don't know what's going on. But I managed to get my demi griffs in the back here. One of their hand gunners. Um, but they netted me, of course, and spearmen are coming in. So it's not looking good. Um, these guys are surviving longer than I thought, which is really nice because it's holding back a bulk of his force um, and allowing my, these guys to deal with the uh, cannons. I still have these crossbows. I'm just kind of letting them get shot by the mortar. They'd rather them get shot. Oh, here we go. Devastating charge. My poor crossbow. But I will turn my silver bullets around to try and punish these knights. Um, and I think this light was over. Again, just everybody gets netted. Boris is in here just doing work. And I, this is when I do something stupid. Or I might have done it earlier. Um, I go to quick stain your ground and I pop my healing potion when he's not even damaged. And so I just wasted like 3,000 hit points on Boris. And um, it's, yeah, it's not not good. <laughs> Obviously. Little spearmen fighting each other. A lot of this side is routed, um, but a lot of that will just keep keep coming back. Uh, keep bothering. And so I, my army is looking pretty damaged at this point. But um, I got the spearman. I got this great sword that's happy in it. I got my light wizard full. Um, spearman's fine. Hand gunner's taking a lot of damage. I didn't get good use out of those this, this time because of the confusing terrain. But yeah, I just basically got this ball, troops, and he's bringing all his winners from this side. I netted this guy for no reason. I just. That's all he had. Um, and I didn't see myself using it. I probably should have netted like this group so I could have finished these guys off easier. Um, but oh well. I was just so busy microwing. Um, here we go. My silver bullets here line up for a weird line. Um, these guys don't shoot because they're in the back. But they're still still up and kicking. Here, their swordsmen just got in. And you can see this battle still has a lot of time left. Um, great swords are in here doing work. I'll be right at this one. I'm just trying to use my light wizard to deal with the weak. Um, so that my tougher, my great swords and stuff will survive. Here I have my going for this, going for this, going for this uh, mortar. And these guys are champs. They just keep it going. <laughs> um, they still have a lot of unit models left, even though they have like no help. Um, but he's gonna end net again. Um, here you can see my. Silver bullets get run off the field by this spearman unit. I'm not paying attention. Here we go, just another good old net. And it's not looking good at this point. Uh, I don't really have much to work with, and he's got a lot of stuff coming back uh, from battle. And my demigrist are in this battle that I've been taken out of. It's just not looking good. We got Boris fighting the general of the Empire. And this is when I start being like, oh, I wish I had that human cushion. <laughs> um, and as you can see, he pops his right now. So his general is going to go straight up to full health. Um, you can see my light wizard here just kind of dealing with these halberds. The halberds aren't really going to be good at killing the light wizard. They're more anti armor, so thought I'd use them to 
stop you know, getting in the back of my troops here. I think my great sword's almost dead. Get me flanked. Charge to the side. Boris is still doing good. Uh, Ned on these guys. My light wizard starts to round. And luckily, I still have the Stenigers came back from routing again. So they're going to come in and charge these guys, this big blob right here. While Boris continues to do work. still has so much health, uh, but I start to win here. Um, it mostly goes to that uh, rear charge from the Demigris. You can see exhausted, all my guys are exhausted, a lot of his dudes are coming back from routing, and I just don't have much left. He charges my great swords that came in with the Zendar Knights, but that allows my Demigris to come in here and finish them off. I'm just, I'm worried more spearmen coming in. This fight just keeps going on. <laughs> what happened? What break kicking in that? He routes there. Smash that aside! Um, and this battle is just my light wizard is tanking it. Definitely worth the like 400 gold I paid for him. Um, but they actually assigned one of these this unit right here. He they actually run him all the way across the map off the field. I guess my opponent was a little tired of dealing with him. Um, here my Demigriffs came again, and I try... I think... I thought he was still routing, so I charged my Demigriffs into him. I was trying just to run him off the field, um, but by that point, his handgunners had come back over here. And, um... There goes my Demigriffs. And I'm just trying to kill this, trying to kill the general at this point. Um, I'm very uncertain about whether I can win. I have these um, spearmen and the last few great swords fighting uh, these spearmen. So I really don't have much. Um, I have these swordsmen coming back. You can see these spearmen running off my light wizard. Um, but at this point, I take a look at this guy, and I see him not having all that much ammo. Um, and so I have Boris here um, running back to help and taking the fire. And so I start to like move back and forth, try and save these spearmen from these uh, mortar teams here, while he just keeps shooting um, Boris with the handgunner. I finish off this fight, and I'm chasing these guys off. I think I end up catching the spearmen here. Yeah. Which is good. Um, on this unit on the field, and I have these guys. I think they're hidden at this point, not moving in the forest over here. So all you can see is Boris. And so he's opening fire with the last of his ammo um, through the trees at Boris, who's shielded. So um, that is not a good way to use your ammo here. Um, I start charging, but then I see his. Empire general there. Oh, wow, no. Oh. I charged with everything. Wow. Um, but now they're officially out of ammo. They're exhausted. These halberds are charging my great swords, and we have a big blob right here. Because imagine if I'd had that healing potion. Oh, man. Um, but this is just carnage. Um, we're both so low health. And, um,. My entire army just starts to rout. Spearmen are gone, my great swords are gone, these spearmen over here are about to be gone. Boris is routing. Death to the enemy! But it's only handgunners left in a mortar team, so they can't do anything against Boris. <laughs> and at this point I'm like typing like, oh man. Uh, good game, like I wish I had not used that healing potion. And uh, he was very nice about it. He was like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just kicking, kicking ten dudes, and so I decided to just charge the general, and I get a good charge there, and I think his charge misses. And, oh, it's close! Oh, it's close! And he just takes him out, and uh, it was just Boris on the field. 
um, I manage a victory. <laughs> um, definitely MVP here, doing lots of work. Boris is one of my favorite generals to ring. Um, we'll have to go take a look after we finish the replays and see if he's... I know he's a melee expert, but we'll have to see if the general of the Empire is a melee expert. Um, it's rare to see kind of two human generals on foot. Um, I'm assuming we both just messed up. But uh, that was a good game to my opponent. I really enjoyed that one. Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Um, this one, I play Dwarf versus Dwarf here. Um, I bring a definitely anti-Dwarf army. Uh, I don't really... I, this is just... This is too much of a hodgepodge army for me. I like to have many of the same unit, um, so I can have clearly defined battle lines. Um, but, you know, it was pretty close. This ends up being pretty close. Um, he has lots of these long beards with great weapons, which are a great choice against when playing against dwarves. He has these war warriors of Dragonfire Pass. Um, they have, I believe they have magical attack, so that should be good versus armor. Um, he has the Skolder Guard. I have never actually used these guys before, so I don't know um, how they work, but I'm, a, I'm very scared of this unit. Um, he has these Bolt Throwers. He has Thunderers and Coilers with great weapons. Good choices. And um, he has two of these Gyrocaptors. More long beards, non great weapon. Um, long beards, not great weapon, and then dwarf warriors, great weapon. So his hitting power is definitely on this left side. Um, but I didn't, of course, realize that. And he's got good old Ungrim Iron Fist right here with his Mohawk of Doom. Um, I have my Grudge Thrower shooting in the air. You can watch. It's a very well made rock there. I'm kind of just shooting at this main blob of three infantry here. These uh, iron breakers are going to be hard to crack. Oh, really? You're, just, you're all going to miss. Okay, we got one more. Come on. Come on. Oh, <laughs> right in the middle. That's a pretty good shot. Um, these thunderers are definitely dangerous, and I want them off the field. Anyways, um, on both my flanks I have these rangers with great weapons, um, with their throwing axes that are armor piercing. I got a main line of three, um, two longbeards with great weapons, and then miners filling out the rest of my line. Just no, no satchel charges, just miners. Um, I've got a thane in front of each side with um, a healing potion. I got my thunders out front. I got the new good old Lord Grom Brindle. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. And I've got this Grudge Thrower here. Um, just because it's nice to have some armor piercing damage. And I have two gyrocopters as well. Oh, and I also have this Runesmith. Good old Runesmith. Um, anyway, so I am perfectly content with sitting back here versus a Bolt Thrower. Uh, and shooting. Uh, so he decides to come back up. He decides to move up. And I don't know what he's really thinking. Maybe he doesn't see this line of thunderers in front. Um, but. Oh, man. That's, that's a good hit. But he moves up his gyrocopters in range. Uh, should be doing it here in a second. And I've kind of closed ranks with my rangers with great weapons, um, taking on a more defensive posture. Look at that, moving up with his ranged troops, I like it. You don't really need to move up the bolt thrower, um, but maybe he was trying to protect it from my... Grudge thrower. Anyways, here he comes. Right into my line of thunders.
That has to be scary. You're flying in this war machine, but doesn't seem that stable. Here come Star Cups, but he does get amazing bombs here. He's destroying this front line. Uh, and I have these coilers with great weapons. He's gonna turn around. These guys are gonna turn around. Uh, all these guys are gonna open fire here. It's impressive to down a helicopter with a axe, but you know, there we go. You can see them kind of floating in midair. So we route that one, and this one decides to, it's a smart move to go ahead and book it out of here. And still my, my guys are still just firing from the long beards, and these thunderers, and these iron breakers. Um, so at this point I begin to I bring these rangers back out to the flanks. Um, I'm going to bring these gyrocopters around the side to um, try and take some pot shots at this grumbling guard, which I view as a big threat to me. Um, it might, it, I think it would be more effective if it was more in the center of the line, because it has an aura, um, I believe. Um, and it, you know, if it's in the center of your army, it's more likely to help. Um, like in that last dwarf battle I showed you, with the grumbling guard in the middle, preventing any sort of fatigue damage. But I begin opening fire with these brimstone guns here. That has to. Oh! <laughs> there goes one! Uh, and I think it's definitely, when facing the dwarves, I would not bring these steam gyrocaptors. These will be much more effective, um, just because of their armor piercing capabilities. Uh, here, my thunder line is about to open fire. Warriors of Dragonfire Pass. Not the best target, um, but there was nothing without shields kind of in range. So I just took what I could get. Here he, he's going to come take a swing with these brimstone guns. Grudge Thrower still thrown away. At this point, I'm shooting at these Thunderers here. Boom! <laughs> There goes one, and these brimstone guns attempting to take these guys out. Um, I charge here all along, and I'm going to swing these guys around to throw axes into the side. Each of these sides is supported by one of these things, so they'll increase the staying power of whatever troops I have there. Here in the middle, I've got Rom Brindle, some long beards, and some miners. Versus Iron Breakers, I don't know. Um, and here we have the Skolder Guard. We're going to start opening fire on my line. I don't know what they're shooting at. Um, but I begin to bring these thunders around to try and finish off the Stryo Hunters. And my Runesmith, I miss my him totally. He is just, I do not use him for the first half of the battle. And it's really sad. Um, here I moved my, I tried to charge these guys, um, but they got caught on the far side of the long bridge of great weapons, and it's just going to open them up to this incredible barrage by these um, thunderers, and they are just not going to survive. They're just, they're, they're gone. I still have these, I think I switched targets to my spoilers of great weapons at this point, just because they're more units. The model I still have not remembered this, but I'm cleaning up the side view. And I'm going to be swinging this in soon. Um, this guy is exploding into this sideline of long and great weapons. He's doing considerable damage, maybe. Depends on how much he gets cost. He just threw his own guys up there. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That's a fast fire rate, too. That's a continuous. My Thane's here. He just really has no answer to you. But I have uh, my Thunderers just ignoring this guy, and we're all shooting into this. I'm trying to get rid of this Grumbling Guard. Here you can see my Rangers still have some axes, so they're throwing them onto the flank. Uh, oh, there goes my Lord. Um, he and Ungrim Iron Fist actually dueled. <laughs> and uh, poor old Grumbling Guard kicked the bucket. I have some Miners put in here against these. Older guard who are winning. They're both winning, and but I finally have remembered my Rinsmith and I've added some buffs. You can see a lot of my groups are routing. 
feel pretty confident though because I still have these gyrocrafters, I still have my thanes, I have my runesmith, both my thanes have not used their gift portion. Um, and I've got this huge head here, which has not seen any combat whatsoever. Um, but he's starting to shoot uh, my gyro gyrocrafters with the bolt throwers, and that is a great choice. They're very anti-air centric, those bolt throwers. And so, uh, it'd be good against like Bretonia or any of those factions, um, if you want to take some pot shots of their lord. Here, I'm just opening fire again. Cleaning up, and this battle is basically over. Lundgren is unbreakable, so we're gonna have to just finish him off. He still has his iron there. Fish him in the My runesmith finally helped clean up the Skolder Guard. Dropping some final bomb. I am not good at the bombs. I always miss. Yes, I'm gonna back from routing. It's just basically a clean up. Charging. Oh. Nope, they're not gonna go. What are you guys doing? Are you routing? We're winning. Oh, this poor runesmith is so far out of his league. <laughs> but I just decided to charge everybody else. Because why not? Luckily, he's not really targeting the He's going to be the same, moving in. Uh, yeah. I decided to send these guys off to the uh, bolt thrower. These guys are finishing off the routing units. And there we are. Yeah, so. Oh, I did not mean to do that. But, oh well. You can see these guys did very well. Um, so did these gyrocopters. Um, my miner is just kind of holding up um, this thing and doing well. And this thunder are doing okay. Especially with all the damage done on these. Um, let's see what we got next. We got dwarf versus dwarf. Um, oh, I can't remember. I think these two were both very bad fights. Um, you know, just they were well, very one-sided. Um, this is an interesting one. Um, I'm Bretonia versus the Empire. Um, and they have Luminarchs. Let's do it. Um, I brought a Damsel with just Curse of the Midnight Wind and Harmonic Convergence. Um, two Paladins. Uh, King Leon Leon Kerr. Um, four Spearmen with Shields. Two pole arms, Three Archers. Um, four Knights of the Realm, and a Mounted Yeoman you can see right here. He um, is protecting his three Luminarchs. He's got the Temple Heart. Oh no, two Luminarchs and four Fly of the Realm. Um, so Chariots Galore. What is he shooting at? Oh, as you can see, he almost kills my Damsel in one shot, and he deals good damage, a bit of damage to that uh, Pedman Bowman there. We'll go back to the um, army composition. He's got a spearman on both sides, two spearmen in the back, three crossbowmen, um, two great swords, and a swordsman in the center. Um, Volkmar the Grim, of course, buffing everybody in his radius. Um, I send my knights of the realm down each side to try and get some flanks in, and I bring my main line just up as fast as possible. Um, I just, and I start running um, my paladin and my king back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just to try and dodge any attempts the Lunarchs would make to shoot at me. Uh, yeah. He's repositioned. He should be opening fire again soon. And I just have these guys um, shooting. Uh, these mountain yeomen don't get very much use this battle. The my knights of the realm are just kind of sitting back, waiting for an opportunity to attack. Um, I bring them too close here, and uh, they get a good old volley by the uh, crossbowmen, but they won't do much damage because uh, they're not under person. Um, again, I just have these guys running back and forth, and this is where I do not think. What does he have here? The Temple of Luminar, which has Net of Amantok. <laughs> <laughs> which I completely forgot about. At this point, I charge in my amount of game and just try and 
try and stop it before it shoots. But he almost instantly kills the only anchor. And so I give him immediately a move in order to run. Just run, bail. Um, and then once these guys are all free, I will move up the rest of my troops here. Um, get, I have my kind of cavalry converging here. My mounted game and I'm gone. And I bring Pegasus in. I have my um, peasant bowmen shooting at this luminar. Um, they're getting decent. Done. Um, here we go again. Let's see if he hits. Nope. Hit a tree. Thank God. And that routes. And I have these guys just sitting back waiting for an opportunity for these kind of spearmen to leave. Now I'll bring my I'll bring my Pegasus in to try and chase that. Then switch to Volkmar. And I think at this point I actually switch my peasant archers to Volkmar as well. Um, they just do not they're unable to do any work almost against this guy. King Lee only occurs back at this point. But I don't notice that he's still able to shoot and he gets one last amazing shot against the guy. Um, and he routes fresh off the field. Yeah, I just have all these peasant archers shooting this guy. Just nothing. nothing really is happening. But that's okay. I'll have to take a look at its stats a little bit. Maybe, maybe it's armor. But my Pegasus are holding up my morale by armor. Um, and my Knights of the Realm are just kind of. Oh, I get a good a rear charge right there with the mantle. Oh, no, these great swords, these great swords, and the serpent. I'm bringing this guy around just to flank to maybe try and keep these guys. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> and then he starts riding again. Um, but I bring these women in and deal with these, and they are terrified, presumably by the only one here. What am I shooting at here? Still pushing them like that. It would have been better if I kind of pulled these guys up and maybe pulled them to the side and shot them in the back. Um, I don't see that this Lumlark is still alive, but he ends up shooting at my uh, kind of my routing units. Oh, actually, a decent vortex right there. It's major disruption. You really don't see Bandit at all. And I think he just gives up there. I got really lucky with a lot of my. A lot of the shots at this Luminar. Um, it could have the battle really could have gone either way, depending on what hits hit and what hits missed. You know. Uh, um, let's see. Um, here we have I'm Orcs versus the Empire. He's got a small elite army, and I've gone the opposite. Very large amount of troops, and. Um, you know, not not no black orcs to be seen. Um, I have these squig herd instead, so hopefully they'll be. I didn't think he'd bring four great swords. Those great swords kind of got nerfed in the last patch. Um, but immediately I see these two outriders just right in front of me, and so I'm going to charge my um, goblin big boss. He's pretty f pretty fast. I don't know if he's faster than an outrider, but I'm going to charge him in. See if I can catch him, you know, stop him from firing at least. Make him run away. That's kind of the whole point of the Goblin Big Boss. You can throw him away. Um, anyways, sorry. I will go over armory composition. My front line is three Savage Orcs and two of these Night Goblins. Um, he readied up, so I had to make this army on the fly. And I only had 800 gold, so I just brought these Night Goblins. Um, the purpose of this main line is to deal with the 300 cost spearmen. Um, one of the Empire's greatest strengths is that unit. Um, and being able to just tear through them with high attack units like this decreases their worth massively. Um, in the back I've got three orc board brigands. Um, on each flank I've got a goblin big boss. Um, one of the three orc board big brigands. The squig herd and these Orc boar boy biggins with the spears, so they are anti large. I was expecting this is kind of my demigrith with halberd killing force right here. Block the charge, 
charge with these, flank with the squig herd. Um, big ins in support of the main line or the flanks. Um, I've got this Night Goblin war boss here. I've got a Night Goblin Shaman with just itchy nuisance and um, sneaky stabbing. And then I've got this Aragnarok Queen here. I like this unit. I like being able to kind of silence any range units behind the line by summoning something across. Um, anyway, so I'm going to make just a quick move straight at these guys, um, advance my whole army while I do this. Let's see if they get a shot off. Yep, they do. And now we're going to run. Oh, but my guy's going to oh, barely catch one of the horses, take it down, and it's going to turn this whole kind of walk around. Um, and he's going to stop here, move in his uh, flyers and his cavalry to try and help. I should probably go over his army. He's got two outriders here. <laughs> Carl Franz up here on Deathclaw. Fun unit. Um, Knights of the Blazing Sun and Demigrath Knights with Halberds. Um, his main line is four of the greatswords, two spearmen. Um, this great cannon, which I do not see the entire battle. <laughs> and it just... Uh, you'll see. Anyways, and a bright wizard to support his main line. I like that choice. Um, and so he's going to bring all his cavalry in here to try and help. I move my squid herd in and my little biggins. And um, he's just going to start straight in here, right into all my mobile units that will stop him from taking them. Which I am all for. But then I get a rear charge here from these Knights of the Blazing Sun. They get a lot of damage on my units. But I took out two of these Outriders, so anything really now, um, I believe, is worth it. Oh, oh man. You missed a great. I missed a great part. Um, so his other Outrider turned around to um, help support the other one by just firing, and I spawned this unit of spiders behind it hemming it in and allowing my Ragnarok to um, deal some damage. And so here they are running with these little terrifying spiders behind them. Um, he's going to just charge everything with this blob. Um, I'm going to charge my Ragnarok spider in there too. Um, I, don't, I don't notice that it's being shot by this great cannon, which is anti-launch. Um, so it's going to make short work. This right much better, and so is this. This helper does a lot of damage to it. Um, here he goes running, but he's going to be running straight into one of my orc boy biggins. Orc boy biggins. Um, so that's exactly the kind of fight I want. These guys have anti-large, so they're going to do a great damage. I'm charging these seven orcs in here to avoid a rear charge, and um, this is just a mess. Up. I don't know what's happening. I'm sure he doesn't know what's happening. Um, and we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm gonna try and finish this up and spread my line out to try and wrap it around. And he's gonna bring in his great swords to help rounds. This unit is not gonna appreciate being rear charged by great swords, um, but he's doing a lot of damage to these guys. So to me, he's worth it. I have this guy, this big old spider coming in here, trying to break up the front line because my front line of Night Goblin. Savage are not designed to go against great swords. And they're not going to do well. Here we are. Squid's coming in. <laughs> Downhill charge, which is really nice. And I think that's one of the reasons why this is going so well for me is the downhill charge. But um, here the spider gets routed off by the uh, cannon. And Carl Franz is just kind of too nervous to settle down, so he'll start pacing back and forth essentially. While my Night Goblin War Boss sits here with no issue, just doing it. Here I have the Goblin Big Boss gonna come in for a recharge. I got the Lord Lord Biggins flanking around. Riders coming back. I'm gonna put this Crooked uh, Moon. Curse of the Bad Moon. And um, it ran straight down these great sword lines and just decimated their ability to attack and did some decent damage. Um, it also ran through my units. But, you know, that's not the end of the world. Um, especially because he has a smaller elite army. Here my red man is better killed, but once again, wonderful. Uh, but 
Kurt Franz is going to charge. And it's gonna, she's going to go down for good. At this point, he's. I can just. There's not enough left here for him to do anything. Um, and it's just like a wrap up operation here. For some reason, this night got them shaming him. Right, start chasing off this uh, Outriders with my Goblin. Yeah, caught him again. That's good to know. That makes Outriders literally useless. <laughs> this quick charge. It makes them almost useless because most green skin armies you see these days are going to have Goblin boot bosses. So if, if they can get caught by Outriders, then... You shouldn't be bringing them against the orcs. Um, okay. I should have one more here today. Uh, here I have vampire counts versus dwarves. Um, yeah, I brought um, a very anti-dwarf army here. I brought Strigoi, which just two spells, raise crypt ghouls, I mean crypt horrors. And Invocation of Nehek. He's one of my favorite words here. And he just looks terrifying. Um, so that's kind of fun. I have three Crypt Horrors backing up a line of Skeleton Warriors. Um, I have Cairn Race on the back, on the sides, two of them. Um, I have a White King supporting them and kind of my, my left and right flank, both with a healing potion, of course, as is the meta. And I have a Blood Knight here in the back, because who can bring in a Vampire Army without Blood Knights? Um, I'm going to shoot these guys off to the side, because they're going to be obviously a big target for these um, Grudge Throwers. And, um, yeah, oh, I've got this Corpse Guard right here for a little regeneration, because I'm going to be spending most of my mana to, in the beginning at least, to raise um, a unit of Crypt Horrors. Um, if we go over here... Um, we have two rangers on each side. I cannot see those units as they are hidden, um, and so they'll pop up once they begin shooting. He's got a line of four dwarf warriors with two chevrons each, um, long beards with great weapons in the back, and these grumbling guard. Very, very, very good unit, I think, um, for the dwarves. He's got two grudge servers, um, a thane, and uh, Ungren and Iron Fist, and a runesmith as well. Uh, and he's got these slayers in the back to deal with any blood knights. So this is just going to be a straightforward vampire rush. I'm just going to move forward as fast as humanly possible, avoid as much damage from the uh, from the grudge throwers. I wonder how much bolt throwers would do against crypt horrors. It might be a good option, but I think he was assuming I would be bringing a grave guard with great weapons. Um, I just really don't like that kind of. I don't really like them as a unit. Um, they're, they're a little too expensive and they need to be supported extensively by Invocation of the Heck and other spells to be um, useful. Um, well, to be used to their maximum effect. Yeah. And so I'm just gonna charge straight in. I'm trying to get at these uh, Longbeards with great weapons with my Cairn Wraiths. And, um, spawn a group of cryptors in here to stop the artillery and maybe kill the runes. It's a pretty map. Grumbling guard coming forward to help. Skeleton shambling forward in step controlled by the mind of Strigoi. Oh, on this side you get the uh, rune of wrath and ruin and it destroys these cameras almost to half health, um, just from the one ability. So thank god he didn't bring a rune lord, which has an even better one. Here you can see the main lines put together, and the crypto is coming to support. Um, soon I'll be charging Strigoi in, yeah, there we go. It should have armor and some damage, I believe, so he's good. Um, and here come the crypto um, I'm gonna try and get them to kill this rune but they don't really seem to target him. I'm waiting for these slayers to move in on the crypt horrors, and so I charge. But they just are waiting, so I charge into the wrong dudes, try and get a good wood charge to help this damage camera, and I try and go out this way. As long as they're not attacking the crypt horrors, 
I'm okay with this. These Blood Knights are coming in mobile cavalry that will keep them occupied. And so, now that they've kind of been in combat, I'm going to try and sneak through, keep this recharge to pull off here, maybe stun the artillery. I just got my corpse card, sit down. Doing its thing. I'm not casting Invocation of an Act, I'm going to fix this side. <laughs> And you can see I broke through the middle here. I charge down the casting right here, and that'll kind of help just solidify, especially these air raids. Because uh, they have so little health to begin with, in case you want to have more results. Losing decisively. But anyway, so this is just very typical. Vampire Rush. I believe he was expecting a lot more Grave Guard to pick up. He has his Rangers flying his camera and they're definitely a threat. Uh, the, the arrows or the bolts are going to have the most effect on these creatures here. Um, you can shoot them even if they're in combat with your um, own troops and they will go down real quick to um, dedicated fire from a, even a single unit. Um, so I think if he had helped his main line out by getting rid of this armor-piercing destruction that is the Praetorius, um, his main line would have survived better. Um, and maybe the win, and just to boost the attack. I do like, I do like his bonus. I think he had the bonus first. So he's also very cool. Ooh, so I'm gonna that guy out. Uh, here you can see a rear charge. They are not gonna like this. But the Rangers are already pretty lightweight for a dwarf. Most of them aren't gonna get back up. Wow, that's impossible. Uh, but they're gonna go around. This thing over here, good choice. I like it. Still doing now. Holding down kind of like a side thing, so. Decides to. Wow, that is a shot right there. Um, anyways, yeah, so that was my morning of playing Warhammer. Um, you know, 90 kills on these Blood Knights, that's impressive. Um, 44, 31. Nothing really spectacular, just kind of what was expected. Um, this thing, you see that? 40 kills. So worth the money. Especially if you take off all those abilities, they are so cost effective. Um, you really don't see any armies in Warhammer anymore without um, two or three heroes. Um, three is the max, which is nice that they did that. No more Bretonia flying, horrible death squads. Um, but yeah, so. Um